Practice and homework lesson 3.7, problem solving, multiply two digit numbers. Solve each problem, use a bar model to help. Number one, Mason counted an average of 18 birds at his bird feeder each day for, 21, for 20 days. Gloria counted an average of 21 birds at her bird feeder each day for 16 days. How many more birds did Mason count at his feeder than Gloria counted at hers? So we can see that eight, that Mason had 18 birds for 20 days. So we can write 18 times 20, and that'll equal to 360. Well, Gloria had 21 birds for 16 days. So 21 times 16 equals to 336. Now we, will, we subtract the two. 360 minus 336, and that equals to 24. So Mason counted 24 more birds than Gloria did. Number two, the 24 students in Ms. Lee's class each collected an average of 18 cans for recycling. The 21 students in Mr. Galvez's class each collected an average of 25 cans for recycling. How many more cans were collected by Mr. Galvez's class than Mrs. Lee's class? So it's asking us how many more cans were collected by Mr. G than Miss L's class. So when it says how many more, we know we have to subtract eventually. So let's do Miss Lee's class first. She had 24 students and each person collected 18 cans. So do 24 times 18. This would be good too. 432 cans, and in Mr. G's class, it's 21 students and with an average of 25 cans. So 21 times 25, which is equal 525 cans. Now we subtract 525 minus 432. 5 minus 2 is 3. 2, 2 minus 3, we know that 2 is less than 3, so we borrow from the 5. Oops. So 5 turns into 4, and 2 turns into 12. So 12 minus 3 is 9. 4 minus 4 is 0. So the total is 93 cans were collected more. Number three, at East School, each of the 45 classrooms has an average of 22 students. At West School, each of the 42 classrooms has an average of 23 students. How many more students are at East School than at West School? So we know that in East School, there are 45 classrooms and 22 students. So at East School, we multiply 45 times 22, which equals 2. 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1, 90. Plus 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1, 90. But since it's the second number, we add the extra zero, so they have... 990 students. In West class, they have 23 students in 42 classrooms. So 42 times 23 equals 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12, 126. Plus, add that 0. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is Eight. So they have eight plus zero plus six is six, four plus two is six, and eight plus one is nine. They have nine hundred and sixty-six. But now they're asking how many more? So we know we have to subtract. And so it's nine hundred and ninety minus nine hundred and sixty-six. Borrowed from this nine to make it an eight. Make this a 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. 8 minus 6 is 2. 9 minus 9 is 0. So they have 24 more students.
Number four, draw a bar model that shows how the number of hours in March compares with the number of hours in February. So number of hours in March compared to the number of hours in February. Well, we know that March has, well, March has 31 days, while February on a regular year has 28 days. And we know that in one day as 24 hours. So we multiply 31 times 24. Four times one is four. Four times three is 12, add the zero. Two times one is two. Two times three is six. Add that together, four, four, seven. March has 470, March has 744 hours. While in February, 28, times 24, 8 times 4 is 32, carry the 3, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11, add the 0, 2 times 8 is 16, plus carry the 1, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, add that together, 2, 7, 6, February has 672 hours, so we can make a bar graph by doing a bar like this. This one is March and it has 744. While February has February has 672. So that is how you do the bar model and compare the two, the two answers, which is 672 and 744. And you can see that there's a visible difference that February is mi missing this many hours compared to March. Lesson check. Number one, Ace Manufacturing ordered 17 boxes with 85 balls, ball bearing ball bearings each. They also ordered 15 boxes with 90 springs each. How many more ball bearings than springs did they order? That question is asking us how many more ball bearings were there than strings? We know how many more means we have to subtract. But first we have to see the total numbers for each item. So there are 17 boxes with 85 ball bearings in each one. So we multiply 17 times 85. 5 times 7 is 35, carry the 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8, at the 0. 8 times 7 is 56. 56, carry the 5. five 8 times 1 is 8, plus 5 is 13, add them together, 5. 8 plus 6 is 14, carry the 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, and drop the 1. So that is for the ball bearings. So we'll put double B. Now we do the springs. They have 90 springs in each box, while they have 15 boxes that they ordered. So it's 90 times 15, 5 times 0 is 0, 9 times 5 is 45, at the zero, one times zero is zero, one times nine is nine. Zero plus zero is zero, five plus zero is five, nine plus four is 13. So they have 1,350 springs, so put an S. So now we just subtract 1,445 ball bearings minus 1,350 springs. Five minus zero is five, 5 minus 4 minus 5, we know we need to borrow from the 4 next to that one. So this would become 3, and this becomes 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. 3 minus 3 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So there's 95 more ball bearings. Number 2. Elton hiked 16 miles each day on a 12-day hiking trip. 
Lola hiked 14 miles each day on her 16-day hiking trip. In all, how many more miles did Lola hike than Elton hiked? So we're asked how many more miles, how many more, we know we have to subtract, did Lola hike than Elton? So let's solve for Elton first. Elton hiked 16 miles each day on a 12-day hiking trip. So 16 times 12. 6 times 2 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 1 is 3. Add the 0. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. Add that together. 2. 6 plus 3 is 9. And drop 1. So Elton hiked 192 miles in total. Well, Lola hiked 14 miles every day for 16 days. So we multiply 16 times 14. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. Add the 0. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. 4 plus 0 is 4. 6 plus 6 is 12. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Lola hiked 224 miles during her whole trip. So now we just have to subtract the 192 from the 224. So 192 minus 224. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 is less than 9, so we need to borrow from the 2 in the front. So that turns into a 1. This turns into a 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. 0 minus 1 is 0. So Lola hiked 32 miles more. Spiral review. Number three, an orchid has 24 rows of apple trees. There are 35 apple trees in each row. How many apple trees are in the orchid? So the question is asking us how many apple trees are in the orchid. So in the orchid, there are 24 rows with 35 apple trees in each row. So we multiply 24 by 35. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2, 12 at the 0. 4 times 3 is 12. Carry the 1. Scratch off this 2. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 plus 2 is 4. 7 plus 1 is 8. So there are 840 apple trees in the orchid. Number 4. An amusement park reported 3... 354,605 visitors last summer. What is the number rounded to the nearest thousand? So it asks us, what is the number rounded to the nearest thousand? So the number is 5, or 354,605. Number 5. Attendance at the football game was 102,653. What is the value of the digit 6? So we go 102,653. So we're going to look at this 6. So this one is in the 1's place. This one's in the 10's place. Well, this one is in the 100's place. Hundreds place. So, since we're looking at what is the value of the digit 6, it would be 6 hundreds. So, it would be 600. Number 6. Jill's fish weighs 8 times as much as her parakeet. Together, the pets weigh 63 ounces. How much does the fish weigh? So, we're looking at how much does the fish weigh. Well, it says Jill's fish weighs eight times as much as her parakeet. Together, when it says together we add, they weigh 63 ounces. Now, when it says the fish weighs eight times as much, we know the fish is eight times more than the parakeet. So let's say X is the fish and Y is the parakeet. So 
x plus y equals 63 because when you add the two pets together, it equals to 63 ounces. While the parakeet is 8 times y to equal the same size or the same weight as the fish. So what we do is we plug in the x into this equation. So it will be 8y plus y equals to 63. So we add these together because they are like terms. They are similar. They're both y. So it will be 9y equals to 63. So we divide 9 on this side and divide it on the other. So y is equal to 7. So the parakeet weighs 7 ounces. 7 ounces. But we're looking for how much the fish weighs. So in order to find how much the fish weighs, we have to multiply by 8 because it says here the, the fish weighs the same amount as the parakeet does times 8. So we need to multiply 7 times 8, which equals to 56. So the fish weighs 56 ounces.